One of the most powerful ways you can use the services add-on is to systemize the quoting, scheduling, and payment of your work. It can save so much time and admin across the workflow of jobs going through your business. So in this video, we're going to step through how to create an on-site service for a particular type of job. As an example, we'll use an electrical contractor offering a ceiling fan replacement service. Once we've created this service with the services add-on, customers will be able to generate a quote online, book a time and pay for the job without directly interacting with the business. And any team member in the business will be able to create this type of job, generate a price and schedule the job to an appropriate staff member without special training or experience. Further, any team member can generate and issue a quote to a customer and let them be the ones to accept the quote online, then book in a suitable time themselves. So to start, in the Services Manager, we'll click New Service. We'll enter the service name and description. Keep it as an on-site service and check the box to display pricing. Then add any default details to be applied to jobs created using this service, including the internal job description, job category, and relevant badges. In service pricing, in this example, we're going to use the variable pricing method to make this service flexible. We'll set criteria and various questions so that a staff member or online customer can scope out the job, generate a price, and schedule the work directly to an appropriate staff member for the required amount of time. So, to ensure jobs booked using the service are worthwhile, we'll set the minimum duration to 45 minutes and a minimum price. For this service, we'd like the price calculated on a sum of individual labour and materials. So we'll set an hourly labour rate to be applied to the job's duration. Then, to avoid customers being able to generate and book high value jobs themselves, we'll enter a manual approval threshold over which they'll be invited to submit an inquiry instead. Next comes the key piece to building this service, the questions. The variable pricing method relies on you systemizing the rationale you use to determine a job's price, time required on site, and which team members can do the job. You can ask various types of questions to online customers and staff, such as multiple choice or numeric questions. These can determine how much time or billable items are added to the job. To add a question, click add and select the question type. The order of questions can be rearranged by clicking and dragging on the left grab point. By teaching ServiceMate which questions to ask and how they affect the pricing and scheduling of the job, it can then calculate what price to display, which staff schedules to analyse for possible booking times, and how long the job should take. For this example, I'm asking questions to ensure whoever is using the service, be it an online customer or an internal staff member, can reliably scope out the job and generate an accurate price. With this example of installing ceiling fans, to start out, I'm asking some pretty basic qualifying questions to clarify the job details and context. Then comes a fork in the road. Is the client supplying the fans or are we? We can follow up each possible answer with another conditional question, which will only appear when a certain answer is provided. You can make the appearance of a question conditional on the answer to another question by clicking this icon here. Using this variable pricing method, we can use numeric and multiple choice questions to scope out the work required and add time and billable items to the job, as these are attached to certain answers. This is how the services add-on calculates price and job scheduling. In this case, if the client says no to our question, would you like us to supply the fans, then we've made a conditional follow-up question asking the number of fans to be installed. 
and allowing an amount of time for every unit requested. This time will affect the duration of the job and will be added to the job as labour charged at the labour rate we specified earlier. On the other hand, if they say yes to our question, would you like us to supply the fans, then we've got this conditional question which will appear instead, asking them to specify what colour, size, type and quantity of each fan required. Because we're supplying the fan, in addition to charging labour for the installation of every unit, we can specify which item to add to the job as well. So in this case, every one of these units requested will add 20 minutes in duration and labour and another of the specified items to the job. Lastly, we'll round out the scoping of the job to ensure there are no showstoppers. In this case, we'd need to have a closer look at the premises if any ceilings are below or above a certain height. So we're asking these questions and setting some rules about requiring manual approval. If an online customer answers yes to either of these questions, they'll be prevented from making a booking and prompted to submit an inquiry instead. In the scheduling view, we'll set the booking type to schedule on-site service, as we'd be going out to the client's premises for this type of job. For online bookings, we'll set some parameters around how soon and how far in advance a booking can be made from the time of booking. We'll also let ServiceMate display slightly discounted prices at select times where it's analysed there would be some scheduling efficiencies for the business. This will try to incentivise clients to choose times which suit the business as well. From here, we'll set which staff can perform this type of job, so ServiceMate knows which staff schedules to analyse when presenting possible booking times to online customers and other staff. In the online payment view, as we've integrated our ServiceMate and Stripe accounts, we can choose to accept a deposit or full prepayment of the job as part of the online booking process. For this type of job, we'll choose to collect full payment at the time of online booking. In the policies view, we'll set a service radius to ensure customers a long way away can't make bookings themselves. We'll also add a small surcharge for locations a fair distance out. Clients who try to book a job outside of our service radius will be invited to submit an inquiry instead, which will arrive in our ServiceMate inbox. Lastly, we'll use the preview feature to test our settings. Then return to the services editor, click publish and step through the publishing wizard. When clients book this job through the new online booking page, they'll receive a confirmation email with all the details. And a new job with a work order status will be scheduled to an appropriate staff member for the calculated duration. All details submitted by the client will populate the job card. Also, in the online dashboard or the ServiceMate app, any staff member can now apply this service as part of creating a job. They'll be able to generate a price, and if the client accepts, use booking suggestions to schedule a time, confident that the service duration has been calculated correctly, and they'll be scheduling the job to an available team member capable of doing the work. If the client would like to consider the quote first, staff can issue them the quote via email or text as usual for online quote viewing and acceptance. But because this job has been created as a service, when the client goes to accept the quote, they'll also be able to schedule in a time that suits both them and the business on the spot. Check out the ServiceMate Help Centre and other services videos for more guidance on how to systemize with the services add-on.